Hi, I'm Felipe with Khan Academy. In this video, we're going to pinpoint individual concepts on Khan Academy for you to use as practice in your classroom or as homework. Let's take a look at how to find and assign individual resources. Here's one way to make an assignment from your teacher dashboard. Find the assignments drop down in the left hand navigation column. Click on that and then click assign. You'll then see the full scope and sequence for each course. Teachers can click into any unit and lesson and select one or multiple resources to assign. For example, this one begins with a two minute video, an article, and then a seven question problem set. By clicking the link for a resource, teachers can preview resources ahead of time and watch the video, read the article, or preview the full item bank for an exercise before assigning it to your students. Another way to make assignments is through the progress link. The Course Mastery Progress page shows you each student's current mastery level and can help you decide which students could benefit from extra practice. A final way to make assignments is to assign from the toolbar. You'll see the toolbar once you click into any individual resource as if you were a student. You can use this method to assign resources from any part of our site, including our career videos, LearnStorm growth mindset activities, and Pixar in a Box computer animation lessons. Each time you assign an individual skill, choose the classes, students, and due date for your assignments. Even though this one is for period one right now, I could make these assignments to all classes at once, or I could assign them to specific students within my class. Then I either assign them to students immediately, or I save the assignments to post later. Saved assignments will show up under assignments by clicking the saved tab. Also, you can choose whether you want students to receive the same questions in the same order, or a set of randomly selected questions. For guided practice, having students work on the same set of questions may be the most useful option. For independent practice or homework, having students work on different questions is likely the best option. On their homepage, from the assignments link in the left-hand navigation bar, students will see the individual assignments you've made underneath any overall course mastery goals they are working on. Assignments are ordered by due date. As students complete their assignments and work on each question, they'll receive instant feedback on how they're doing and you'll receive instant data as well. Students can attempt multiple times as they learn from their mistakes. If you've assigned different problems for each student, they will receive a new set of randomly selected problems on each attempt. Students can also view and complete assignments for any class on our mobile apps. Back now in the teacher dashboard, to view assignment data, click into a class. From the assignments link in the left hand navigation bar, click on scores. You'll see at a glance data. You'll see a grid with student performance on all assignments you've made. Click on any student's name to view more details about that student, including their performance on all assignments so far. For more detailed reports, click the manage link in the left hand navigation bar. When your students complete an assignment, you can view their performance by clicking on the fraction in the completed column. For each student, you'll see the time of completion, the number of attempts, and the best performance. If you want to go over a concept with students, click View Report. In this report, you'll see which problems were the most challenging. Try pulling up a challenging problem with students. You may have them discuss the problem and explore why many students might have been confused. Then, ask students to share their thoughts with the group. Finally, reveal the answer and discuss any final misconceptions. Also, this report is live and will auto-refresh for you every 15 seconds as students are working. A couple tips from teachers. Some concepts work especially well for guided practice. Consider choosing concepts that are especially difficult or will create good conversation and debate. Start small and assign a few concepts at a time. This will help you figure out a routine using the data and reports that work well for your classroom. For more information, go to khanacademy.org resources.